Good day everyone. Today we have a unit here. This is a international LT with an 826 engine in it. And the code we're going after here is this one, 3556 FMI2 for the aftertainment hydrocarbon doser. Now this code is indicating that our aftertainment fuel doser is building pressure but not holding pressure. So first thing for this code would be to do a visual inspection on the fuel lines going to the doser to check for any leaks as well as at the fuel supply module for the doser and the doser itself just check for any indication of fuel leaks anywhere um, and that'd be the first step so we're gonna get into it okay so here we are on the right side of the engine that's our hydrocarbon doser right there um, they also call it after treatment fuel doser, 7th injector, all that, it's the same thing. It uh, injects the fuel into the exhaust system for the after treatment. Um, so yeah, we're just checking for any leaks. It doesn't seem to be leaking here. Check the back of the head, route it around. No leaks here. We'll go to the left side of the engine where the supply module is. And as we can see, here's our supply module. Um, doesn't seem to be leaking. Well, I'm back over here on this side of the engine. Just a little tip, just to see if this thing has been tampered with or recently removed. I've seen them kinked before. Uh, this one has not been, but uh, that's another little hint. Just make sure this line isn't kinked if it's been recently, you know, worked on or, or whatnot. Um, so this one isn't. So that would also obviously cause a restriction. Um, so. Yeah. So the next test I'm going to be running here is called an Achievement Fuel Enable Actuator Test, which basically will tell us if the uh, the fuel actuator is leaking and causing the uh, doser to dump additional fuel into the system when it wants to shut off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the fender, turn the wheel, that way there I can remove the fuel doser and uh, run this test. Okay, we got this thing out of the way here. Go ahead and turn my wheel. So what you're supposed to do is remove these lines and block them off. That way there you can remove the doser and install an extension line for the fuel. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these bolts and just pull this doser out just enough to check the tip of it. And then I'm going to run the unit real quick while I look at the bottom of this doser just to see if it's leaking when the engine is running uh, indicating a leak either in the control valve and or the uh, injector itself just a real quick visual of when the unit's running um, so I'm going to remove those and then just try to keep everything else intact here Gasket out. Looks dry, which is good. Just gonna run this unit and see if any fuel is leaking from this doser. Okay, so as we can see, there's no fuel leaking, which is a good thing. We're gonna go ahead and run our test. So I'm gonna run that fuel enable actuator leak test. It says the delay time to 15 seconds to give me time to go over there and inspect it. What we should see is a little bit of fuel coming out of it. Uh, the spec is less than 5 milliliters, so it's not a lot. Because it's going to shut the valve and open the doser. So if that valve's leaking or the actuator is leaking, well, then uh, we'll be able to tell because there'll be fuel dumping out of the doser. So it's going to open the doser and shut the actuator. I'll be open, I'll be closed. So I'll run this test, should just have a little bit of fuel coming out. So I'll start it. Yep. From, make sure the felony of the doors have to be removed. Here we go.
Dose is not leaking. That's good. So as we just seen there, the dose is open. Enabler actuator is closed and it's not leaking. You see just a little bit of spurt of fuel coming out of there. That's it just purging. That's perfect. So we know that our atrium and fuel enabling actuator is good and our doser is open. So now we're gonna run a, a leak test on this thing. This leak test is for our after treatment doser itself. Now that we know the enabler is not leaking, we're gonna run a doser leak test. So this test is going to put fuel in the uh, after treatment doser line and close the doser. We shouldn't have any leaks. If we do, then we know our after treatment fuel doser is leaking, the pencil's bad on it. So start this test, 15 second delay, run you can see it's leaking Doser. It shouldn't be leaking right now, it should be closed. Now we know we have a bad after fuel doser. Okay, so that was a successful diagnostics. Um, we found that our after human fuel doser, hydrocarbon doser, seventh injector, whatever you want to call it, is leaking. As you can see, that pintle was puffing out spurts of fuel, and uh, whereas it should have been closed. So that's why we're getting that code. And if that gets left unchecked, it'll start leaking even worse, and then you could start, um, you know, overfueling that DPF when there shouldn't be any, and yeah, it'll create a lot of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and replace a hydrocarbon doser, and uh, that's it. But now let's say that doser wasn't leaking. Well, the next step would be to check for fuel restrictions, fuel pressures, uh, and as well as the fuel return flow um, on the fuel system. So. Diagnostic well done.